This is uh, the uh, booth for the WikiSeat project, um, which is which is not only a really awesome project, but a really cool story. So um, I'm with Nick and Sean from WikiSeat, and uh, we're going to. Uh, why don't we Why don't we show them what what it's all about first? So so explain what that is. Cool. So uh, when I was studying industrial design in college, I decided that I wanted to make a seat. And the first seat that I made, uh, it kind of just fell apart. So I realized that it needed a structural support, and I built something very similar to this. And I used all the same materials for the first seat, the one that failed, and used this. And it kind of it works. You know, you could sit in it, and it was fairly comfortable. And uh, this was for a 10-week project, and that was two weeks into the class. So I, I was like, what do I do now? And so I built a whole bunch of these and started giving them out to other people. And I was curious, you know, like, if I wanted to build a seat, do other people want to build seats? And then... Uh, and it turns out that a lot of people did, like, like a lot, yeah. right? Yeah, so a lot of people actually really like building seats, which is crazy. Because, like, I mean, it's cool, we're tool makers, so we should like that kind of stuff, but... So, and that's where Sean comes in. But let's let's just take a look at at some of the wiki seats first. So uh, these are all different wiki seats. Each one of them, you know, it's got a different form, uh, made out of different materials, but they all have the same fundamental structure at the base. They're all three legs because they're all based on the same bracket that's right here. So once you found out that a lot of people wanted to make these, um, you know, let's why don't we have a seat? I want to try it out. Yeah. So. All right, all right, guys. Um, once once we found out that a lot of people wanted to make these, uh, you wanted to share it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So how did you start doing that? So uh, originally, I, I built a wiki because you know wiki seats, so every, every wiki seat needs a wiki, um, and I put that online, and then uh, it got picked up by Boing Boing, and which was totally yeah. I don't I don't know how it happened. <laughs> Thanks, Pesco. Um, so Pesco put it on Boing Boing, and then Sean Wheeler saw it. And he sent me an email and he said, well, Sean's right there. Right. So I saw it and uh, I, I wanted to build a chair. And I quickly realized I don't know how to build chairs. And so I quit um, before I even started. And what I realized was a lot of kids do that. They quit before they start. They, they don't know how, so they don't do anything. And I felt as a teacher, I should be a person who can learn how to do something that I don't know how to do. So you're a teacher. What do you, what do you teach? Yeah, I teach uh, 10th grade English in Cleveland in the Cleveland area. Okay, so what does building a wiki seat have to do with English? <laughs> I, think, I think the thing it, it mainly has to do with, I was trying to get kids in the mindset of being able to see something they want to learn how to do and then learn how to learn how to do it. Uh, and so I really wanted kids to, to embrace this idea of they can do things they don't know how to do. Um, like kids say, I stink at math, I stink at science. Um, well, only until you learn how to do it and then you're good at it. And so what I wanted to do is model that for my kids. So I contacted Nick. We got 100 of these uh, built locally because it's all open source. And I talked to a welder. He built them for me. And I brought them into class on the first day of school and said, here's the thing to build a seat. I've never built a chair before, and neither have you. So let's figure out how to do this. Um, and, and it was pretty successful, right? Massively successful. So uh, I started teaching my kids design concepts like em empathy and form and function. And we started reading Ralph Waldo Emerson to inspire us and talk about self-reliance. And we didn't like write essays on self-reliant. We tried to be self-reliant. And Emerson's my boy. Yeah, he's yeah, the man. Absolutely. <laughs> I love him. I love him. You're talking to a, to a creative writing major. So, you know, <laughs> that's where I got my bachelor's in. He is, he is our intellectual founding father. Yeah. Um, and. And so I sent my kids away, 100 kids away, and I teach in a public school. We have no budget. We have no shop class. We have no materials. And I said, go figure out how to meet the people to help you and find the materials to help you. 100 kids went away with nothing. 100 kids came back with seats. And uh, one kid, when we were looking at them all, said, we should be in a museum. And so I said, well, how do you do that? Let's, let's try to get in a museum. So we did. And we had a gallery opening, and we started uh, blogging and tweeting about it. And the idea is really caught on in education because it's problem-based. It's not a project, it's a problem. Um, and my students learned how to design solutions to people's problems. And if there's one thing that we really need in education, it's students who understand that problems are solvable if we can learn. We are learning for the wrong reason in education right now. It's to prove that we know things. But we should prove, uh, we should learn to solve problems. And the maker mentality the idea, like when I'm here in, in, at the Maker Fair, the thing I'm most excited about is if, if you need a model for real learning, this is it. 
people who want to do things and create communities to make them happen. So I'm here to uh, kind of affirm to the to maker community that as an educator, I see this as the best kind of learning there is. And that's great. And 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 Sean, for Sean, this is his first time at Maker Faire. Um, so I, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's been really cool for you to see the stuff that goes on over here. But I think that what's important is that, like, we really need to bridge the gap between, you know, formal education and uh, and and maker skills because. You know, it's it's such a different type of learning, and I mean, and it, and it can and it can turn on, so, you know, so many different types of minds, so many different types of children. You know, I, 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 it's just great. I don't mean to add on to what you just eloquently said, but uh, you know, I have to say that I'm pretty passionate about it as well. And you guys are doing good work. Um, so, and now, and now, the wiki seats are in more schools in what cities? Um. Right now, we've got wiki seats in about uh, 18 or 19 schools, I think, a little over 700 students, all across America and a few in Canada. And the really cool thing about this is that there's first graders that are building wiki seats, there's undergrads in college that are building wiki seats, uh, a lot of middle school and high school, and it's like math and English and science. It, it works in everything. And the curriculum is sort of in a process of writing itself, too, which yeah. is kind of crazy when you think about it as well. It's very open source. Teachers are sharing and, and, and we're learning from each other. And it's really become a community of people doing this. Well, it was wonderful talking to you both. Um, and I know that you have a presentation to get to. Yeah. So you better make your way over to the stage. And uh, best of luck to you both. So uh, you be well. Thank See you. ya.